What is going on guys, your boy Joey672 coming to you guys with a video right now. So I want to go over just a couple things. Obviously, we enjoyed this win um, over the Atlanta Falcons, 32-6. to Had a good time, and it's obviously time for week two against the 49ers. So uh, we'll go over the 49ers probably within today or tomorrow or something like that. We'll go over some things. Um, to get ready for our next next matchup, we'll be at home. Uh, going to be very exciting. But kind of want to go over some things from this game, or even just from just in general from what I've seen, it's just from the things that I would have to change or would have changed. You know, there are some things that I don't know. Maybe the Eagles have to make some changes and why they're doing it. Okay, now first I want to talk about Jordan Howard. That's still in the practice squad. That is going to be probably protected every single week until he gets playing time. Okay, until he really gets playing time. I don't know why they didn't activate him for this Atlanta Falcons game. Because look, here's why I look at it. Boston Scott didn't even play. Didn't play special teams. Okay. Now what I'm kind of thinking here is the third and ones are killing us right now. Those third and shorts, or maybe those third and fours, maybe those little chunk yards they need to get. They need to put a bruiser in this lineup i think they really have to put a bruiser in here because at this point these read options the plays are taking too much to develop because you know it's a long play if you're undecisive if you're keeping the ball if jalen hurts is going to do a read option it's either he's going to keep the ball for himself or he's going to give it off to the running back and there was a couple times where he took a little bit too long you know the running back and the you know the quarterback kind of ran into each other in a weird way or the handoff was so slow this offensive line cannot pick up blocks because everybody is stacked next to each other on the line so if you're not doing a QB sneak if you're not doing any of that the read option is just taking way too long it's not a bad play to do I just don't think you should do it every time so you know instead of using game well instead of using Miles Sanders on that play if you try to do that because I know that they tried do, you know running up the middle with Kenneth game on the third and one you need some extra muscle behind that I think you put I think you bring up you raise up Jordan Howard from the practice squad put him on the active roster and use him for those third and shorts I don't see what's the big deal. I know we have a lot of speed. I know this offense is about a lot of speed. Obviously, they're protecting Jordan Howard every single week on practice squad, so no teams can acquire him, okay? Um, Jordan Howard would work out perfectly. I just want to see a little bit more. I think they should make some changes this week. I'm hoping that they put up Jordan Howard this week, which maybe they probably won't, but you're not, you know, at least I'll feel more confident that we're going to get those third and ones, those third and twos, if we really have to use Jordan Howard. Yeah, with this offensive line, I trust this offensive line 100% other than the penalties that they got in this last game. But I think you need that bruiser back. I think you really need that bruiser back for this game. Obviously, um, you know, uh, I thought we've had past success. I know this is a new system, but... Jordan Howard would work. You tire out that defense with him. I mean, it's not even just for third and shorts, guys, but I think for the long run for this team this year, get a bruiser back in the backfield. It doesn't hurt you. Um, you know, when Jordan Howard gets to the second level, you know, he drags guys for an extra five to seven yards, probably a little bit more than that. So you'll get, you'll, you know, he's in good shape this year. You know, um, I, I was actually surprised they just kept, three, you know, they're keeping seven linebackers and obviously, you know, only three running backs. Didn't even use your third running back uh, this past Sunday. So really interesting with Jordan Howard. Now, next and finally, J.J. Ortega Whiteside is a whole nother story here. Okay, now. Our team's going to pick up that J.J. when he's on the field that we they know that we're running the football because obviously J.J. is not getting receptions. Was he on the field when we passed the ball or was he always on the field when we ran the ball? I, that I've, I've already watched the game a couple times and I, I think he's really only been on the field when we were actually running with the ball. So I don't know if that gives it away when he's on the field, but obviously he's not here to get receptions. Okay, let's get that straight. They're not giving him receptions. They're not throwing the ball to him. So what is he used for? He's used for his blocking. I actually looked at his blocking the past two times I watched the game. I watched the game about two extra times. And it, it looked like, you know, his blocking is really good. It is. I can't really complain about it. But, you know, it's J.J. Ortega White's hour talking about here. Can he get separation? Can he do anything else? Maybe he'll play better in an offense that, you know, he actually has weapons around him. I don't know. To this day, I don't know why he's here. Obviously, I do know, but I feel like we're wasting a, a personnel on the field. When he's on the field, like we are wasting personnel where you could put in a Quez Watkins that definitely needs more playing time, definitely. But keeping JJ on the field because of the run game, and then he plays on special teams, which he does very good with, I think it's a good and a bad thing. 
because I hope teams don't figure out when JJ's on the field they're running the ball to his side or something like that. It could be almost anything at this point. But JJ's blocking is really, really good. I watched some of his blocks. Um, I went on the computer and watched play by plays. His blocks are very good. Um, but like I said, he's not getting receptions. They're not doing anything. They're not passing the ball to him. So um, is that fair for him to start? I mean, just for that reason, I don't know. It obviously worked for the run game. The run game was good. He made some good blocks, like I said, for the fifth time. So just want to know from all you, what do you guys think about J.J. just blocking? Should he get reception? Should they not waste J.J. and put someone else in there? You know, put Quez out there. I mean, I hope they line up Quez in this game, this next game at least. with We, have, we, we didn't see Quez Watkins on the same field with – we didn't see him in the same sequence, same play – as Devontae Smith and Jalen Rager. We haven't seen Quez Watkins get in there with those guys. Just imagine what he could do. And we saw the speed when they threw those little dump passes to him first series of the game. So it was actually really amazing. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Jordan Howard, um, should they bring him up this week? How do you guys feel about the third and shorts? Do you think the read option is way too much or it's too much to develop? It's taking way too much time because um, those plays have to be quick. I know they did with Miles Sanders once and it worked out good, but the the, the read options, I guess they want to get more chunk yards out of that in case Jalen Hurts wants to keep it, but Jalen Hurts has to make up his mind. Is he keeping it? Is he handing off? Just hand it off. Just do it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. At least we tried. Went on, on fourth down a couple times third and third and short hasn't been wasn't really too good. Um, just for the couple plays that it was, it wasn't that bad, but just so you save yourself from aggravation, move Jordan Howard up to the, the, you know, the active roster and just throw him in the game, throw him in there on the third and shorts. I promise you he's going to get those yards. That offensive line is very good. Um, and then obviously JJ, I think a white side, you know, is it a waste to put him on, on the offense just for his blocking? Um, should they do other things with him or, you know, our team's going to try to figure our team's going to figure that out the more times he's in game. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys later. Shake squad up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.